Hey there, Tim Stoddard here coming to you as always from my home office in Colorado. This week's video is gonna be a little different than usual. It's not gonna be quite so business related. This week's video is gonna be about confrontation and tough conversations and relationships. And if you don't know how to succeed in relationships, you're never gonna succeed in business. And, and really you're not gonna have a, a good time in life <laughs> in general if you don't know how to manage relationships. So. About two years ago, I remember listening to a podcast from Seth Godin from the Akimbo podcast. And the podcast was entitled Tough Conversations. And it was all about addressing a moment of friction right when the tension between the two parties is at its max. And the importance of just addressing it and having the hard conversation because the the outcome of not having the hard conversation is usually worse than the outcome of having the conversation. And then about a year and a half ago, I remember watching some video from Jordan Peterson that always stuck with me, where he talked about confrontation and he talked about the importance of addressing confrontation and, and the line that he used, I'm not gonna get it perfectly, but the line that he used is that confrontation doesn't diffuse itself in time without being addressed. Confrontation only compounds and it only multiplies without addressing it. It's easy to listen to on a podcast and it's easy to see on a video and say to yourself, oh yeah, of course, everybody knows that. But then like, I'll speak for myself. I hate confrontation. I am very much, I wouldn't call myself a people pleaser, but I want people to like me. I don't like people being mad at me. I hate that feeling of feeling like someone's mad at me. I just feel like I'm walking on eggshells and it makes my skin crawl and I just hate it. I'm definitely high in agreeableness in one of the, the personality traits. The fear of addressing, of having the conversation was so much worse than the conversation itself, <laughs> you know? Like the anticipation of it is so much more terrifying than the act of actually doing it. I have learned over the last two weeks the importance of this lesson. And it's not to say that I get it perfect. And it's not to say that from this point forward, I'm going to be like a master at knowing how to address conflict and going to be able to deal with it without getting nervous or worked up. And I'm not even saying that I'm never going to get to the point where I won't like procrastinate having that conversation because it's, it's scary. We all know it. We all know that feeling. But man, 10 times out of 10 in, in every situation, resolving the issue is so much more beneficial regardless of the uncomfortability than not resolving the issue. Just had a huge lesson with this in my business with some of my partners, with people that I love as not just my friends, but as, as my family, you know, me and these people have been working together for, for 10 plus years and and seeing that no matter how close you are with someone and no matter how comfortable you are with somebody, it's still nerve wracking and it's still difficult to just address it. But after you do, it's always worth it. And you always grow from the experience or I grew from the experience. I don't know how to end this video. I don't have a good <laughs> like closing line and a good poetic outro. I suppose when it comes down to it, the main lesson that I learned is that the, the anticipation is what's crippling. It's not the act that's crippling. The act is very relieving. It's, uh, it's like pulling a splinter out. And then once the splinter's pulled out, it doesn't hurt anymore. It's just done, it's over with. You never have to worry about it again. But the anticipation and the fear of conflict and the fear of somebody being mad at me or the fear of somebody not liking me is all a lie. It's just made up in our heads. It's, just, it's a survival mechanism. And we have to be better at addressing that. 